here is a Turing tumble, which is a mechanical version of a computer. Uh, we have these blue marbles up top on the left side and red marbles on the other side. And when they fall down, if they reach to this bottom here, they flip these levers, which then engages the next marble. They fall down through these gates here. These blue gates are what we call the bits. Uh, and there are three here which are used to create the first number that we're going to add to these four bits here, which represent the second number. As these marbles fall down, uh, it will add these two numbers together, storing the final result over here on the right-hand side. Uh, if we have a successful calculation, then we will see a blue marble end up here at the, at the end. And if we have what is called an overflow, then a red marble will end up in here, and that means uh, that the number was too big for us to add them together. So right now, uh, these three bits here are all turned to the left. They're all set to zero. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn uh, the second bit to the right. That means that's, that bit is a one. Uh, and because it's the second bit, it represents the number two. Uh, and over here, I'm going to take this first bit, I'm going to turn it to the right. Uh, so that number is a one. I'm going to turn the third bit here, uh, which represents the number four. So we have one plus four is five. So what we are doing here is we are adding five on this side. And over on this side, we're adding two. Whoops. And we will end up with uh, we will end up with the number seven when this is all done up on this side here. Okay, so now I'm going to give this thing a start and see what happens. So at this point, the calculation should be correct. Uh, we should end up with the number seven. If you look up here, we have uh, the first bit on the right is the one. The second bit is our two, and it's also turned to the right. So we have one plus two is three. And then our third bit is the represents the number four, and it's turned to the right. So we have three plus four is seven. Our last bit over here, which represents the number eight, is set to zero. So we do have the correct number there of seven. All right, so now we're gonna do a demonstration using the two simplest numbers to add, and that is zero plus zero. So all three bits are set to the left side or zero on this side, and we set all of them to the left on that side. Uh, this will end very quickly. As soon as I hit it, uh, we are going to end up with a blue ball ending up here trapped. And on the right hand side, we can see that these arrows are all still set to zero. So that means the end result of our calculation is still zero. Okay, so now what we're going to try is an overflow example. So currently we have these bits set. So that we have the ones and the fours turned on. The second bit is not turned on. So basically this number here is the number five. On this side, we have the ones, twos, and the eight turned on. So we have one plus two is three, plus eight is 11. So this number here is 11. When we try to add 11 plus five, that should give us a total of 16. But the problem is that these four bits can only go from zero up to 15. So if we want an end result that is greater than 15, we're going to end up with an overflow, which means one of these red marbles is going to end up in the bottom there when this is done. Here we go.
there we have the calculation. So we have all of these set to the left. We have a red one in there, which means that an overflow happened.